Hi guys, uh, this is just uh, a little update on this um, a little FM transmitter that I built. What I intend to do is uh, replace this battery with um, a, a permanent supply, uh, or a, I say permanent, this, uh, this sort of, and this is from an old um, uh, internet hub. And, um, it's uh, something that's made for BT, British Telecom. So I, I'm quite happy to have a thing like this and leave it plugged in. It's got this 55 millimeter plug on the, uh, on the end there. And what I'm gonna do, this is an old hub that's, uh, that failed and uh, they don't want it back. So what I'm gonna do, I haven't got one of these sockets in my junk box, so I'm gonna whip this one off here. And uh, I will mount that on to the little uh, circuit board but before I do that uh, this is the uh, the device so I think you can see it's a uh, specification there and I just want to check what its output actually looks like so this is a, a meter that I've only recently purchased and uh, I bought it because it's got a little uh, facility for uh, checking transistors uh, there uh, so NPN and PMP and uh, you can check the uh, uh, the gain of the transistor and this is the uh, the socket from that little uh, plug-in power supply and I've got 11.7 volts uh, DC so what I want to do now is look at on the AC range and just make sure there's no AC volts there Okay, so I've got uh, uh, 0 0.002, so 0 0.002 uh, volts AC, so very, very uh, little uh, AC ripple on there. I could look at this with the oscilloscope, but I just want to make sure that is, um, I'm, I haven't got something that's going to give me AC hum. Okay, that's the uh, little uh, socket that I wanted. I've uh, fitted the socket there, so uh, my uh, power supply is plugged into the board now, and I've changed the um, uh, the, the switch arrangement so that uh, the switch still works. Um, making the the change, adding the uh, uh, DC power supply like this, has influenced. The aerial tuning uh, system quite uh, quite a lot, so I've uh, I just got a little aerial there just coiled up, and um, I, that I need to give that some more attention. A little LED is tuned for uh, what I can get as maximum brilliance now, uh, but Sophie tells me there's a high pitch whistle uh, coming from this. I can't hear it myself. Um, if I just so that's the um, little MP3 player that's going into the transmitter, and then the radio is. Uh, the there is a bit of mains home on there. Not a lot, but uh, say evidently there's a very high frequency whistle. Uh, but my old ears can't pick it up. Uh, might be good for scaring dogs. I'm going to use the uh, little transmitter with my uh, TV set and it'll be connected via a SCART connector. These are the terminals that I shall be using. Uh, terminal 1, the audio output right. Terminal 3, the audio output left. And Terminal 4, the ground. But um, do be careful because uh, when you get these it's easy to sort of think all oh, right I'm on pin one two three four but it's not it's pin one pin two pin three pin four so what I've done is I've just rounded off the corners just filed those off and then I'm going to just nip off those lugs And then that'll go in there. I'll, I'll stick it in on one side with a, 
a bit of contact adhesive um, and then the, the knot will go over the top. Might not need any adhesive. That makes a, a tidy arrangement then. And if you've made as many mistakes as I have, you'll learn it's a, a good idea to, uh, to 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 bell out <laughs> your uh, your connections and just make sure everything says it ought to be. It's always worth checking because you plug it into your TV and do something dumb, uh, you'll only regret it. So here I've got the transmitter connected to the SCART connector that I showed you. Um, that's the little aerial and uh, it's lead in there. I've got the, uh, the TV sound on mute uh, but if I lift that you can see I've got that there and I'll put the radio on. And we continue Saturday night at 10. £150,000 or close to, you've got... Anyway, I'm going to take the radio uh, around the garden and uh, we'll uh, see how we get on. Well, you'll remember I said that Sophie could uh, hear the high-frequency uh, sound uh, whistle from the uh, transmitter or from the radio. That's the little switch mode power supply, and I've got it connected to the transmitter, and I've got the uh, oscilloscope connected across it there as well. So let's just get in a bit closer and. Um, that's the ground level, so I'll put that down on the bottom line there, and I'll just switch to DC, and that's 2 volts per division, so we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I'm just below 12 volts there, which I think we measured it at 11.7 .7 with a digital meter. Now, if I switch to AC, and um, let's bring that uh, up there and we'll put a bit of gain on it that now is 20 millivolts per division now yeah, just altered the time base and you'll see there's uh, what's that 10 millivolts ripple there all right that's 10 millivolts per division now on the AC range um, so that's uh, that ripple there that's what we're seeing with the transmitter switched off so that's the uh, AC ripple on the on top of the the DC and um, that's 0.5 milliseconds per division when I switch the transmitter on right, I'm going to open up the time base now um, Right, the time base now is on uh, 50 microseconds per division and we've got one, two, three, four um, divisions there. Uh, so as I switch the transmitter on and off, so, so that's the transmitter off, that's the transmitter on. So reasonably it's fair to say that um, that is going to change with load just going to turn the aerial tuner yeah 
and as the aerial tuner affects the load I'll zoom ahead a bit so as you can see what's going on maybe maybe not um, as I adjust the aerial tuner so you'll see that LED comes on and off don't know if we're catching that um, and uh, that is symptomatic of uh, uh, the, the loading change and you can see that it actually adjusts the frequency so reasonably um, the way that the switch mode power supply works is by uh, changing this repetition rate of when it fires to actually control the voltage so to recap that's um, oh, what is that now that's about 15 millivolts of um, AC ripple which we can't see if we look at the DC level. I've just switched back to just switch back to DC. So that's the AC. That's the DC. Um, overdriving it like crazy. Where's the? There. Yeah. Let's find that. Put that down there. So I've just that's my ground. That's my DC level. So that ripple is on top of there um, so I need to filter that out uh, I actually um, on the, on this board so I'll set to on that I cut two extra pads so as I could fit the capacitors on the board I was going to fit some uh, inductors and some capacitors to uh, smooth out that ripple but uh, in the end I decided I haven't really got the room so what I've done is I've put a, a 10 ohm half watt uh, resistor there in series with the supply and that has absolutely flattened the uh, spike. I'm on 2 volts per division that's ground at the moment so the DC level that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 let's call it 11 volts so I've lost nearly a volt across that uh, 10 ohm resistor um, which is fine remember I've had this uh, uh, transmitter working at 9 volts quite happily and now if I go to AC and um, let's pull that up there the, uh, I'm down to um, 5 millivolts per division there and all I can see is a bit of hash, a um, bit of mains ripple there, but um, very, very little. So that's squashed that from about, um, what would we get in, something like uh, 15 millivolts to something that I, I can't detect. So I think that's as good as it's going to get. So there's the transmitter down there. And, uh, before the big opening ceremony tomorrow night and of course it is important not just for the nation but for the government that these games are a success he made the point that the previous government had a big in Britain the Olympics for London but there we have it that is Lawrence Rose can you hear that high frequency? Years old when the no Good. Okay. <laughs> because I can't hear it. Okay, well, we're in the greenhouse, and that's the sound you can hear from the TV. And obviously, we're getting ready for the Olympics. Um, but, uh, anyway, thanks, folks. So making her way there along Downing Street and a very quick final thought from David Miller our historian because you yourself David were selected were nominated to carry the torch but you gave that honor to somebody else well I thought better than some geriatric old guy so that's the finished transmitter looking a bit more complicated now uh, than it did before but I uh, just needed to fit that uh, filter in to get rid of that uh, high frequency uh, hash um, okay well hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching and uh, thanks for all the positive feedback guys I appreciate that bye bye